Hey gang, we're here with our video tutorial for our April 2013 template, Fitness Life. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. Fitness Life is a fitness, health, and well-being website. It can be used for gyms, personal trainers, and just about anything you can dream up. So let's check the site out. As you see, it's fast loading, and we have a lot of cool effects going on here. This is our Deluxe News Pro with CSS3 effects. And here we have a custom HTML module that is using some JavaScript to pin it in the right for area and some JavaScript to do a little parallax effect on the girl here. As we scroll down, the text changes. Kind of a unique slideshow in the middle of your website. And then we scroll down to this area. And these are just custom HTML modules with CSS3 effects. And they link to our appointment book component as well as this button here links to the appointment book. And we'll scroll down some more and see we have some more parallaxy effect going on. And we have our Deluxe News Pros here creating Joomla articles and links. And now we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And this is our contact wall with a contact email form and a map. And the map is used as the contact image and the email and the phone number and, of course, the footer. So let's scroll up here to the top and check this out and explain everything. So we use regions in our template framework and basically we have nine different regions and the really nice thing about the regions is instead of just having a global background for your website, each region has a region wrapper that takes up the full width and the region inner wrap that takes up the inner. So for example here, we're using this as a region background. We have the inset area is fixed, so we're able to scroll the region two on top of region one. And then we have our region four here. Region three is where the component is, and we have that hidden on the front page, so there's no reason to show it. And so as you see, we're able to get multiple backgrounds in for each region. And let's go up here to the top and see some more of the features. We have our menu bar left here. This is a module. It's the core Joomla menu module. And you can style this with a sucker fish, a dual fish, or a drop line style. We've also included a couple module positions over here, menu right one and menu right two, should you want to put a login link or anything else to search in here. And this, of course, is the logo. And all this is edited in the back end of the template. So let's look at a few of these features now. A new feature that we have in our template manager is to being able to select the menu style. Before, you had to actually open up the module for the menu and put in a module class. Um, there was some confusion on that, so we've made it a lot simpler for you now. If you go over here to your grid settings, you'll see the menu style. You can set it for sucker fish, dual fish, drop line, or none. None is if, say, you're using a third-party menu in the menu bar left, like a mega menu, and you don't want to apply any of our styling to it. So we also have make header sticky, yes or no. Right now it's yes, so let's set it for no, and let's see a change here. So we're going to refresh the site, and as you see, the menu is no longer fixed, staying in place. It scrolls with the website. Also here in the grid, we have the region one fixed. We can set this for no and hit save. And now you'll see that the region one is no longer fixed and scrolls with the website so nothing goes on top of it. So let's go ahead and set these back to yes and yes. And let's check out some of the subpages here. Of course, you have your module suffixes. And then we have our typography. These are all typography styles, and we do have font awesome in here. So you can have all these different icons in. And it's very lightweight. They're not images. They're just fonts. And let's move on to the extensions. Uh, we did include appointment book in here. 
So basically people can go ahead and book appointments for different services. And other extensions we've included, of course, is our Deluxe News Pro, our Joomlexy Custom HTML Pro module, our contact wall, the K2 content wall, appointment book, and Commento from Stack Ideas, which is a great commenting component for Joomla content. So let's check out the Joomla content. This is a Joomla content page using the intro blog option. This gives you a checkerboard style two column layout. To set this you'll need to go into your administration and go over to your menu link and as you see here on J content we have it as a category blog and the category blog layout options. So the intro articles give you a checkerboard and we have that set to four and to two columns. Easy enough. So let's check out the single column. Single column uses the leading and this has a different style. So if you don't want the checkerboard and don't want to get in there and edit CSS to remove it, you can go ahead and just use the leading. And that's simply by setting the leading articles here. We also include several alternate layouts, such as the right featured. That puts a large one on the right, a center featured. And a left featured. And those are set by the page class in the menu. So let's go look at that real quickly. Right featured here and right feature. And you go down to your page display options and you simply put in the page class right large, center large, or left large. And that's how you achieve those layouts. So let's go back to the website and let's check out K2. And K2 is styled basically like the Joomla content. We've given you two views here. Um, this style is done with the full intro text from a K2 article. You're limited in K2 on a category page to having the image, the title, the intro text, and the author and read more and such. So for this, what we did was we just styled all of this in the intro article. So you have your title, and this is all your intro text. So we actually put the image right in the intro text so we could give it a layout similar to the home page. We've also included a simpler one category here and this is just your standard. You've got your title, your intro image, your intro text, and a read more. So let's check out the K2 item. The K2 item, we have our main image here and as you see, the main image does scroll and has a parallax effect on it. We have some custom HTML here inside of the full text. And then on the left, we have the author, the author information, as well as we have our extra fields. In the extra fields, this is just custom HTML. Down here, join a class. This links to the appointment book. And then we have the attachment and we have a download course guide PDF. As you see more in this category, back to the top. And let me explain a little bit about what's going on here with this image. To make the image scroll the way that it does and positioning, we've actually had to set a explicit height on the image wrap and use a background image and a little bit of JavaScript. Should you want to remove this and just use a normal image or change the height of it, you're going to need to edit the CSS. So if you just head over to Joomla Ecstasy and you go to our documentation and templates and go down here to the next page to Fitness Life. Right here we have full documentation on how to set up everything for the home page as well as the logo, main menu setup, editing the main menu JavaScript files, 
setting up our deluxe news pro module custom HTML but right now let's go ahead and focus on the K2 article here's all that stuff we just went over with the left right and everything so we're gonna go down here and see this um, this applies for the Joomla content view too so if you want to change the special effect you go onto the, the CSS of the grid on line 291 you'll see we have the overflow hidden and a height here you can change the height and if you want to remove the parallaxy effect you just go into the ecstasy scripts JS in the JS folder of the template and find this code right here and either comment it out or just delete it and that will remove that effect so as you see everything that we're discussing here is in the documentation this video is just to get you in and to understand what's going on and anything else that you need you can find it right in our documentation and if you don't find what you need in the documentation feel free to go over and click the support link and send us a support ticket so let's go back and look at a little more of the website here so I haven't shown you the styles yet so let's see what style 2 is style 2 is a dark style with more of a boxing theme and then we have style 3 style 3 is a very clean and minimal version as you see we're not adding a lot of colors and a lot of background images we simply have her here and then we have this is very clean area with the pink text we're going to scroll down and we want to give you a more simplistic view so you can see what it would look like more minimal and then four we have a another dark style so having said that let's go ahead and let's check out the responsive nature of the template I have some nice things to show you here so the template is fully responsive and works on mobile tablets and just about any screen resolution so let's go ahead and pull our screen in and let's get down to the mobile view and check it out so as you get down to the mobile view things change such as the logo changes size your menu becomes a mobile menu and then you lose the girl here get started becomes big and then when we scroll down these are no longer large squares they're more rectangle and unique feature here that we added in um, just to add a little wow for you when you pull it in and out this might surprise your client when you show them that it's responsive so as you pull it out here you'll see that they actually change to circles then back to squares so squares pulling into circles expanding out to more rectangles so let's scroll down in the mobile view and you'll see that here where we had the parallax effect we've removed it because it really doesn't make sense on a mobile device to be trying to hit your screen and scroll it and scroll it and there might be some confusion and some bugs there so we've just gone ahead and removed it and made it text and as you see go down here and everything fits perfect for a mobile view for this area where we did the parallax if you're on a tablet view we have added a, another breakpoint here to the responsiveness that makes it so it's just static as you see it just scrolls with it so we'll pull everything back out here and this is going to conclude the first video tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and explain to you a little more about how these effects for the regions were achieved and get a little deeper into the administration of the site. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you next time.